Hey everyone, Sailing on here with another episode of Receiver. Um, so, I've been playing around with the settings a little bit, and first I need to reload my gun so I can show you guys properly. That is not a lot of bullets. So, uh, take this out, take that out. Okay, now that one's full. And, put away my inventory. Same gun. So, um, what I changed is I made it so the gun no longer sticks to the center of the screen, uh, which I hope will make it easier for people to follow my movements, because the gun won't just be uh, rotating around really fast. Alright, got a flashlight to start. Great. Uh, and more bullets. Wow. Alright, is that everything that's up here? Uh, looks like it. Okay, hang on for a sec. Let's Fill that magazine. I'm not sure if I'll stick with the gun not locked to center screen, but we'll try it out and see how it goes. Nothing to shoot me in here. But maybe there's some items which I do like. Hmm. And... nope. Nothing. Man, why don't people just leave bullets lying around their apartment? These inconsiderate assholes. What am I supposed to do in the face of the robot apocalypse if people won't give me bullets? I mean, I've, I've got plenty of bullets. Oh, hello. They're still alive. Still alive. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I no longer have a lot of bullets. So, not do that again. Not that it wasn't. It wasn't effective. Dead? Oh, I think I got the camera out. Yes. Huh. It's a lot easier to aim with the, uh... Ah, okay. I think it's a lot easier to aim with the gun not locked to the center of the screen. Maybe that's just me. Alright, what have I got this time? Ah, same old block. Alright. Let me out. Block with a lot of bullets in it. Just to make sure. Hey, you got a cassette. You use technology to control physical things. Similarly, there is mind tech, which is used to control the boundless luminescence. Mind tech can be used for good or evil. The threat has been using its mind tech as a weapon against you, and so far has caused widespread sickness and mental weakness. Now that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow. Mind kill but they are aware that will not work on you. They have another potent weapon they will bring to bear against receivers called the Dreaming. They cannot exist fully in this reality, but they have been watching you and experimenting and have developed this new mind tech. The Dreaming is a bridge from our world to yours, and they will use this bridge to send specially conceived of weapons designed to work in your environment. These automatic weapons are designed to kill the few who survive. Okay. So there's a drone back the other way. Or not a drone, sorry. Uh, but I don't think I can deal with. This is very, very far away. How many bolts do I have left? Not a lot. We're heading this way instead. That is not a new tape to me, but uh, I don't feel like it's very easy to understand either of us if I'm trying to talk over him, so I just kind of let them play because there's not really any way to skip them. Speaking of, round two. 
Your crude world is not the true reality. Your physical body here is the shadow cast by your transcendent mind. We call this higher plane Reality A, and your world of shadows Reality B. If you are receiving this message in a fictional context, you are at an even deeper level, one that we cannot reach. Because your body is a shadow of your mind, when your mind dies, your body will vanish. In the normal order of your world, death is merely a transition in which your mind is set free. But for victims of the coming mind kill, there is only oblivion. Okay, there's a turret up there. Uh, hmm. Can I shoot him from anywhere? Not really. Alright, let me see if I can sort of skip past him here. Nope, not good. Oh no. Go through the door. Come on. Oh, I tried to say this. Is this just gonna be following me around now? Because I'm out of bullets. Great. Oh, good, there's another one. Ah, shit. Alright. Maybe it's not actually your name. With the, uh, weird gun not locked to center of screen thing, but whatever. I'll stick with it for this episode. If I really feel like it's not helping me, then I will turn it off. Alright. I think uh, maybe I'm just really bad at shooting. That's the problem. Looks like the kind of place where there might be drones. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, we're good. That didn't get me killed. So everything is fine. There's a drone nearby. Hey. Okay, I hear another one. Oh. Where are you? Hey, all right. What's beeping? Oh, oh, the camera's still alive. Wow, that was that was smart. That was real smart of me. Oh, hey, this drone is this drone can't fly, but it's still got a taser. Oh, let me just go poke it. Alright. Well, that was... Uh, I was doing well, too. Sort of. I mean, I didn't have any, like, tapes or anything, but... Killed two drones. Where are we? You know, I'm not really sure how big the levels are in this game. I don't think I've ever really gotten a solid idea for how many rooms are in uh, a single level. It seems to be fairly linear connection of rooms. Um, oh no, that's not true actually, because sometimes there's the upstairs and the downstairs, and they all connect to different things. Hello? Ooh! Oh. I thought that was a tape. As much as I would love to put another flashlight in my inventory again. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll just hang on to the one I got. Seems to be working. It's not like they run out of batteries or anything. If 
nothing in there, nothing back here. tapes, no ammo, no additional flashlights, no drones, not that I mind not having robots trying to murder me while I search through these people's apartments. I think I got him. Yep, got him. All right. Anything else down there? Any items? All right. All right. Just keep my head down for a second. I guess another one of those weird graphical. Whoa! Got him. All right. Doing good. Anything else around here? This seems dangerous. I'm gonna be honest. Especially because there's a turret right there. But this is probably the place to shoot him from. Got him. All right, we're on a roll. Any more turrets down there? Ah, yep, there's a second one. Huh, which one of those is alive? Not that one. Well, that answers that question for me. Now, how do I get him? I can probably get him under the stairs like this. All right. Do I have any extra bullets? I do. Oh, oh happy day. Right, get turrets and another spare flashlight. Well, uh, if I ever lose my flashlight. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, he's dead dead. I will not accidentally tase myself on him. Load, because there's probably more drones out there. Hey, I totally missed those. Oh, shit, where are they? Alright, I'm not gonna go out that door. So, one thing about this uh, camera not locked thing, or gun not locked camera, I mean, um, it is a little bit tricky to aim uh, vertically fast. Because the gun uh, doesn't pan up very quickly. Which is a kind of disadvantageous when there are drones above you. So I just need to be careful. Okay. I think there's another one out here. No? Alright, well there's a turret across there. Courtyard there. But let's go upstairs. Before I reload. Which makes sense, I guess. I need to use my other hand to reload. Can't really put bullets in one handed. Uh, I don't think this leads anywhere, but maybe there's an item up here. Oh, no, there's a door. Sweet. Oh. What's mad at me? What's mad at me? He's grown. Drone. Haha. <laughs> Sucker. Do anything else up here, but there are more bullets and another flashlight. This is the third flashlight I found. Well, I've got plenty of bullets, I've got plenty of flashlights, no tapes. This is going oh, well, speak of the devil. Any drones? Nothing up high, nothing down low, nothing in the corner. Alright, I think we're good. And what are we going to listen to this time? If you are listening to this tape, it means you have survived the mind kill. Previous attempts to listen to this tape would have found it blank, but now it contains immediate instructions of your difficult path forward. This is the time that we have prepared for. Take a moment now to find your firearm. Some of you will be familiar with firearms from our training camp. But more recent receivers will have focused on mind tech in order to survive the mind kill event. 
In either case, please take a moment to confirm that the firearm you have been issued is in working order and contains one full magazine. You have also been issued one tape deck with headphones and two AA batteries. Once you have checked your equipment, leave the safe cell. Keep moving and be careful. The threat will have dreamed kill drones near your location. Yeah. I don't know what this uh, training camp is that he's talking about, but honestly, I I would love to go because then I might actually know what the hell is going on. You know, apart from the rampant taser drones. I've got a kind of general idea. There's some kind of weird overarching force that is sending drones into my dreams, I'm gonna say, to tase me in my sleep, which is fair, I guess. Best time to tase someone, probably. As to why, um, it seems to be because I'm immune to some kind of weird mind control thing. There's bullets on that table. I don't hear any buzzing, so I don't think there's any thing around. I heard to check, though. Plus, there might be items. They don't really buzz. I really wish the cassettes made some kind of noise just so you you kind of hear them through walls and things at least wow no, more bullets i i wonder how far that goes does it wrap around if it hits the end or is that just like my inventory is full when it reaches the end or does it just go off screen nope nothing All of this, and I've still only got one tape. Which I guess means I won't lose much when I inevitably fuck up and die, but, uh... Still. Nothing in, whoops, nothing in the bathroom. Nothing in the bedroom. Oh, bullets. See, this is a nice, considerate American, keeping bullets next to their bed. True patriot. Nothing else in here. Alright, on we go. We do seem to be at the top floor of this building as well. Oh, we reached the other end of that little section. Haha! -ha. I cannot hop this. This is for the best, probably, because I don't think there's any way down from over there. And a drop thing. Always. At least once per video. I will never, ever manage to get through a whole episode of this without dropping a magazine. I'm going to get to a point where I'm good enough to not do it on purpose, and that is going to be the first episode where I end up dropping a magazine while I'm reloading, to reload faster. Because, you know, that's just the law. How do I get down? I guess I just follow this hallway to the end, and then take the stairs back down. What was at the other end? No, we didn't check. Yeah, we came up here. And didn't check either of the other two doors that were on the other side of the courtyard. I think there's a turret in one of them? The lower one. Yep, been this way. Alright, so we're up here. There's a door over there, but I cannot reach it from here. There's the upper door, which is the one that maybe does not lead to a drone. And I think I see a cassette on the floor in there. But, that actually looks like it's on the lower floor. Let's try that lower door, I guess. No. Stay back. I'm kind of impressed that I missed him earlier. I'm pretty sure I just walked through here. Though. So. Drones are not actually that great as, you know, security. Dart, dart, dart. Okay. Can I get through here? Oh, 
Oh. Did I get it? Yes. And there's a pile of bullets here. And a cassette that... I guess I have to go... Wait, no. That'll kill me. Can I just pick it up off the table? Counter thing? Can. A receiver is said to be awake when he is able to get a completely clear signal, free of any subconscious corruption. In this state, he will be able to see oh. realities in their true form and transcend normal human limitations. Although some of the receivers we choose to speak through are advanced in their ability, no human has yet achieved this awakeness state. Humans exist in two worlds. In reality B, they live and work in their shadow bodies. In reality A, they are asleep, their minds unconcerned and roaming free. But humans have the unrealized potential to exist fully in both realities. It is this reason why humans are threatened. If even one of them achieved an awakened state, they would see beyond the horizon of all known understanding. Okay, so humans are a threat. Wait, are we in the Matrix? Is that what's happening? This would be really, actually, pretty cool Matrix tie-in game, if I'm honest. I really like to see more games with. Uh... Oh, hello, friend. I don't think I got him. Nope. That got him. All right. That nice spark, you see. Jesus, I have a lot of bullets. Alright, is there anything down here? The sentry gun will not tase me if I touch it. I'm still not going to touch it. Because it's a spinning machine gun. Andy, safety tip. You see a machine gun spinning around on a tripod? Don't poke it. In fact, you should probably leave the room. Especially if it beats. There's a lot of turrets in this room. Got him. Right, should be another one. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Yeah, it's in the bathroom. Whoa! Oh no. Oh. There's a lot of turrets in that room. There be something actually in that room. I'm gonna be annoyed. Right. Let's just get across here real quick. Can't get this asshole. Nope. All right, he's down. Where's his friend? There he is. Nope. There we go. Alright, there's one upstairs. I'm gonna reload real quick before going up there. And... There's nothing here. Actually, upstairs? No. There's a cassette, though. I'm gonna go grab that room. Uh, mm, no, I wanna be able to hear things while I'm checking this. Let's see blue light. Nope. Anything. Ooh. Wow. More cassettes. All right. Well, the rest seems clear. So. If you recently Christ, started that's a lot receiving, of bullets. you may wonder why the training tapes are so important. Over the last several decades, your media has been slowly corrupted to be used against you. By feeding your mind a constant stream of damaging ideas, your view of reality has been warped to fit into a sinister agenda. How can one tape listened to once possibly have an impact on the face of a lifetime of accumulated deception? It can only have the smallest effect, but even that small effect can be built on. If you listen to that tape 100 times, you may notice a difference in how you feel. 
If you listen to the tape a thousand times, you will be transformed. And if you listen to the tape a million times, you will become more than human, an awake receiver. Listen to as many tapes as you can. Listen to them as often as you can. You use technology to control physical things. Similarly, there is mind tech, which is used to control the boundless luminescence. Mind tech can be used for good or evil. The threat has been used you know, the mind tech like as a weapon to be used. Really so far, this caused widespread sickness and limitations. Now okay. that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow. Mind kill. But they are aware that will not work on you. They have another potent the weapon they will bring there. bear against receivers, called the Dreaming. They cannot exist fully in there. this reality, but Here. they have been watching you and experimenting and have developed oh. this. Oh no! The Dreaming oh. our world. <sighs> Damn. Ah, it's doing so well too. Alright, well, I think that should be enough for this episode. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.